joining Just Smile to Row. Hi, how you doing? What's going on? I like to tell you guys that you are the best. We're going to do a collective reading here, okay? A collective reading, all right? Meaning that you could be any sign. It doesn't matter. Spirit guides, God, I ask you in heaven to please bless my dear collective at this time. Please give them the strength. Please give them... <clears throat> Whatever they may be needing, please clear the energy spirit of any negativity. I thank you, spirit, for all the blessings. I thank you for the messages. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. Thank you for covering their homes. Thank you for covering their, their homes, their loved ones. Thank you for taking good care of them, spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so let's get this on. What's going on, Popcorn? This is going to be a reading for the collective, a reading for the collective. Okay, let's see. Let's pull some energy out here. Let's get some energy, 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 energy. Okay, again, this is for the collective, okay? You don't have to be a specific sign, okay, for this message, okay? If it feels like it resonates with you, then it resonates, okay? It's all good. It's all good, popcorn. It's all good. Spirit, what do we have here for the collective? What would you like the collective to know? I don't know. I feel like you guys are the best at what you do. You are the best. You are worthy. You are full of strength and you are able to heal from this. Whatever it is, it's transformed your life. It's transformed the way you see things and people. But please make sure that you know not every single person is like the last. I don't know where that's coming from. My spirit guides are leading me to say it. Please understand you're nothing like the... No one's nothing like every not everybody's like the last person. Okay? You could be missing out on blessings because you might be in fear. It's like you've ended something and you're in fear of it happening and happening again. Flexibility. Yep. Be flexible, okay? Be flexible in all that you're doing. Be flexible. Be able to be able to see. Let me scrape my camera here. Be able to see that you are worthy, that you are able to have a new beginning. You are able to have a new start, okay? Spirit, what else do we have here for my dear collective? Knowing that they are the best, Spirit. What are they? What's going on here? Okay, purity. Purity. Okay, being flexible. You're pure in your own right, okay? Okay. You're pure in your own right. At the bottom of the deck, we have happiness. You're pure. You're pure. Okay. You're pure. You're worth. You're 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 worth happiness. You're worth being happy. Okay. Action. You take an action, not being afraid, knowing that you are the best at who you are. Okay. Can nobody mimic you? Can nobody be who you are? You are everything, and you've got to always remember that. Okay. You're everything. If you pray, please continue to pray. Don't don't give up, okay? Don't give up no matter what is going on around you. Somebody wants you to feel um feel like you're trapped, like you have to give up, like you don't have things going in your favor. Okay? But be flexible. You're pure. Yet you deserve pure happiness. You're loved. Spirit here for the collective. Yeah, anxiety. See, some of you have anxiety feeling that going forth, you're going to run into the same patch of individuals or the same type of um, bad connections. You are deserving of pure happiness. You might be like, you know, this is too good to be true. No, it's not. No, it's not too good to be true. It's not too good to be true. This is the time for you, okay? You're free. You're free to be able to do what you need to do for yourself. Strength. Here we have strength. Okay, you're strong. You're stronger than the anxiety, okay? You're stronger than your anxiety. You're stronger than what people might think think that you are. You are even surprising yourself, okay? You need to be flexible with yourself. You deserve pure happiness. You are the best. I feel here someone wants you to feel different about that. Change. Change. And that's what's happening in your life. You're going through different changes. You're going through different um, 
different situations, different emotions, different thing, different things that are happening in your life right now are for this change. This reason, this anxiety you're going through is for a reason. It's giving you strength and it's going to help you to change. Okay, spirit, one more. One more, please, spirit, one more. Okay, then we have, look, distractions. Distractions, look at this. Distractions, you might have family trying to distract you. You might have people from the past trying to distract you friends it doesn't give you the it doesn't give you the opportunity to actually be within yourself this change you're making is threatening people you are the best you deserve the best you deserve everything that you're getting everything that you're getting for you for yourself the gifts that you're receiving spray let me get one more let me get one more there's going to be distractions here someone wants to distract you Like right now, my kids are trying to distract me because they know they ain't supposed to be making that much noise. So just a second. Oh, it looks like I looked out the window. We have new neighbors coming in. That's awesome. Lower it. Mommy. Yes, baby. Hi, baby. Lower your voices. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys for being so patient with me. All right. Spirit, one more for my dear collective. One more. All right. Now we have wedding. Some of you are about to get married and you don't even know it. Some of you are about to have these changes. This anxiety you're having about this new beginning, something new coming into your life, something new being here for you, it is for you. You are okay. You are good. Okay, you're going to be just fine. You have somebody that wants to come in and cause distractions and they want to stop your change, but they cannot. They cannot. <clears throat> They're not able to stop what's meant for you. Okay, let me use um, a different deck. Let me see. Yeah, I'll do this one. Yeah, they're not able to stop you. Oh, look, isn't that a coink -a dink Three of Swords, right when I open the box. Okay. Three of Swords. Someone's heartbroken because you're moving forward. You're moving forward. You are the best, okay? You are the best. You have strength. You're able to... Your strengths are better, are bigger than your anxiety. And that's what's going to help you make these changes. You might be afraid that things are going to go wrong, but guess what? At the end here, we have wedding. We have wedding. You're going to find your person. They're coming. If they're not already here, they're coming. Spirit, what's for the collective? What's for my beautiful collective spirit? Wow. We have the Empress. Okay. Libra, Taurus energy. We have the Hermit, Virgo energy. And we also have three of cups in the reverse. Someone wants to come in and they want to distract you. They want to distract you. May I add that these are people that you probably have let go of, people that you're no longer um, in contact with, people that just don't feel like you deserve what you have coming to you. They don't deserve, they don't, not that they don't deserve, they don't believe that you deserve pure happiness. They don't believe that you should be flexible with spirit. They don't believe that you should be flexible with yourself so you can give yourself that happiness. If you keep shutting everybody out, you're not going to be able to see your true worth. You're not going to be able to see what possibilities are ahead. There's possibilities here. Someone's having anxiety because you know who you are. The Empress with Virgo energy, you've shed the light on this. You've done some self-reflecting. And there's people that... Are not very happy about it. As of course, we have distractions here. They're not happy about your change. Okay? A lot of you, this is not even your anxiety. This is someone pushing that energy onto you because they're in the anxiety because you're moving forward. You're doing something new. Okay? Strength. Your strength is here as well. King of Wands. You're very, 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 very highly attractive. Don't believe otherwise. You're very attractive. You're very attractive and you're looking at all 
Everything that you have acquired here, everything that you went through was for you to get to this moment. This moment of self-awareness, this moment of self-love, this self-confidence you have is bigger than you can think, bigger than you can ever imagine. If you see this strength card here, there's a crown on this person's head, male or female. You're being crowned. You're being crowned with confidence, love, joy, and you're sexy as fuck. You better believe it. You better believe it. Well, who told you you weren't? Six of Swords. Yep. Who told you you weren't? You're confident now to move forward towards this change. It's time. It's time. Leave these naysayers and things behind. Let them do their drinking, whatever it is that it is that they need to do. You separated yourself from them for a reason. Like I said, you are the best. Okay? You are the best. You know now who you are. Okay? And these people that are not a part of your life are trying to throw their anxieties onto you. What are they going to do without the best? What are they going to do without the best in town? Not too much. They're not going to know what to do. They're probably going to still toss it up and drink. Whatever the hell they're doing, you can shed the light on this. And if you can look, the hermit's looking down. The hermit's looking down. Okay? Can you see that? I don't want to too much cover it. Can you see? The hermit's looking down on this. Like, damn. You're realizing now. Being more flexible with yourself. Being more happy with yourself. It's going to be a little bit of anxiety coming out of this oldness going into the new. But you're going to do it. You are the empress. You're beautiful. Of course the empress is going to have a wedding. Of course the empress is going to have happiness. Of course there's going to be distractions between the empress's change, strength, and this wedding or this what's, what's to come. This life partner that's coming. Of course. Of course. That's how they would want to have it. That fell on the ground. Spirit, what do we have here? What do we have here for my dear loves? That are strong and courageous. The ones that are moving forth. Moving forward, Spirit. What's going on here? Oh, what's going on, Spirit? For the collective. What's going on for the collective, Spirit? What's going on for the collective? You're about to find your person. You're about to find somebody that's going to be meant for you in your life. Somebody that's going to want to be with you. Somebody that's going to want to build with you. Somebody that's going to want to love you. Ah. Look at that. The emperor. The emperor is here. The empress and the emperor. These people are full of anxiety. This wedding that's coming along. Oh, maybe you were married to somebody before. It doesn't mean a damn thing. It doesn't mean anything. You have people trying to distract you. People trying to distract you from getting towards your emperor or your empress. Take it as you as it resonates. But you're very confident about moving forward. Aries energy. Then down here we have. Yes. We have the devil. Capricorn energy. We have the magician. Aries energy, and we have the Eight of Wands, okay? Fire energy. Whatever's going on here, this is going to cause somebody to be very, very, like, very obsessed with what you're doing. Very obsessed. Somebody could be into some dark shit here. This, uh, this, um, devil with the magician here. But as we see, it starts out with the Empress. As we see, it sits here with the Emperor in the middle. This is a counterpart. This is what's going on. Somebody's going to be very, 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 very jealous of your connection. Very jealous of the connection you have coming towards you and it's coming fast. Whatever they're doing with this magician here, okay, with the um, with the devil, I don't like that. We're going to clarify that. I don't like that energy at all. Somebody wants to cause, like I said, distractions because there's going to be a lot of change. They're not used to this change, okay? They're going to have to get over it, obviously. But, um... You're getting, you're getting to the person, your, your person for life is what you're getting to. And someone is sitting here very, very jealous, very, very, and it's probably these, this group of people here in the reverse, this three cups in reverse, people you used to celebrate with, people you thought would celebrate with you through this change. No, they're not going to celebrate with you. Things are going fast for you and they're jealous of that. Let's see, spirit, what is this? Okay. The devil. That's what I was going to clarify. We have the lovers, Gemini energy. We have the Two of Cups, Piscean Energy, and we have the Three of Swords. This is, what this is what we saw at the very beginning when I took it out the box. 
three of swords, six of pentacles, and the eight of cups, as well as the hangman. Someone here is stuck. They're stuck on you getting something new. They're stuck on you doing something different, and you're walking the fuck away. You're walking away from it because you don't have to deal with it. You don't have to deal with it. Like I said, you are the best. You are the best at what you do. You are the best at relationships. You can do better things than whatever somebody had here. Some Whatever somebody had you here in anxiety, they're all regretting that. You didn't shed the light on it. You've self-reflected. You see exactly what these people are doing, what they're about. And blessings are coming in here for you quickly, more, more quickly than you know. Six of Swords, okay? The Six of Swords going towards the Emperor here. We started with the Empress. And then we have Wedding up here. Something special and good is about to happen. And then we have the uh, Ace of Swords that came out. I'm telling nothing but the truth. That's that's truth. That's, that's truth here. You got somebody. Now, when we clarify the Devil and the Magician, okay? We have the, we have the Lovers. Somebody here is like wanting you to make a decision. It's like a group of people want you to make a decision between them or if you should be in love with someone else or somebody that's very, that's meant to be in your life. Somebody that's going to bring change, bring change, love, okay? And they're going to be heartbroken over it. Regardless, they're going to have to deal with it. Six of Pentacles, somebody that probably gaslighted you, somebody that probably breadcrumbed you, would talk shit behind your back. You walked the fuck away from all of it. And now they're stuck. They're stuck. They're stuck trying to do whatever it is they're doing here. I feel like somebody here is doing some type of magic. Somebody's trying to do some type of shit. And they're like so addicted to doing it. They can't stop. So what they're trying to do is put distractions. If you look and see. Distractions right here. The Empress and then the Emperor. And then between that we have the Six of Swords. We have the King of Wands. And we have the um, Hermit here. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of major Arcanas here. A lot of major arcana. Someone's trying to stop something, but you deserve pure happiness. You have to be flexible with yourself. This is nothing but the truth. Be flexible with yourself. Don't push everything away all at once, thinking that some that they're going to be like your last. No, this could be somebody that you could be having that happiness with, a wedding with, something serious, something that can be that's tangible, something that can last a long time. And you have people that are stuck because you walked away. They're like really, really stuck on what you're doing. They don't even know how to focus on their own lives. And that's why there are the three of cups in the reverse. They sit, they gossip, they talk. Let them talk. Spirit, go ahead and clarify. There we go. Will of fortune in the reverse. Bad karma. I was just about to clarify the three of cups in the reverse. Bad karma. They're all dealing with different situations and different things that they have to deal with on their own. Let alone while they're sitting here being all in your business. Trying to find out what you're doing. If you're happy. If you're not happy. Um... Are you, are you still with this person? Are you still with that person? It's none of their damn business. They want to make sure that you're not happy because they're not happy. Okay? They're not happy. And whatever the hell they're doing here, whatever darkness, whatever dark energy this person's in, okay? This magician with the, um, the devil, Capricorn and Aries energy, this person's going to be facing bad karma. The will of fortune's in the reverse. These people, this group, this family, whoever the hell it is, doesn't matter, doesn't matter, whoever it is, Whoever wants to kind of impede on your happiness, on the strength, wants to give you anxiety, they're going to have to sit here and deal with karma for the shit they're doing. Whatever they're doing. It's like somebody's really like, they're stuck in their own addictions, but at the same time, they're addicted and they're like very, very much heavy on your connections, on what you're doing without them because they're stuck. They're stuck. Ever since they walked, ever since you walked away or they walked away from you, it doesn't matter. Whoever's here is regretting this. Is sitting here just regretting it. And the Three of Swords energy. Okay? Regretting it. Because there's love here. You're in love. You're in love and you have something coming in for you. That's going to be much more better than what the hell this was. Somebody was giving you a little here and a little there. And then they go and give somebody the big stuff. And then you were just like, you know what? I'm going to pack my shit and I'm going to go. Because now I'm clear on exactly what's going on here. I know who I am. I'm the Empress. And I'm going to find my Emperor. I'm going to find my counterpart. And exactly not you having to find it, but it's going to find you. It's all right here. There is no doubt about it. It's all right here. Spirit, give me some more. Let's see what we got here. The cherry in the reverse. Stuck energy. Cancerian energy. Somebody is stuck. We have two cards now here with stuck. Just stuck. Doing nothing. Three of uh, cups and the wheel of fortune in the reverse. Just stuck. Doing nothing. Have nothing to do. They're stuck watching you because now you're clear now. Now you're clear. You're walking away. You're being flexible, not only for yourself, 
but for your happiness, for what you have coming. The anxieties that you are facing, that those are not your anxieties. Those are somebody else's. There's somebody else's because now they don't know what the hell they're going to do. They're stuck like Chuck. They got to figure out what are we going to do now that the situation or this person's walked away and now they've gotten better. They're more, they have more strength. They're making changes. Oh, what are we going to do? We're going to come in and we're going to distract. Okay. But those distractions aren't going to work. You're still going to be happy. Okay. You're still going to be happy. Exes, family, whoever it is. Okay. Bottom of the deck, four pentacles. Someone's still holding on. Someone's still holding on. It feels like somebody here is still trying to play games like tit for tat. Let me hold back my energy so they, they need my clarity. You don't need shit from this person. You have the Ace of Swords right here. You already know. You got this from the divine. While they're stuck in this dark shit, the devil and the magician, let them stay there. Let them stay there with this Three of Swords. Let them stay there. Because it was all cute and dandy when they were doing the shit they were doing. But now karma's biting their ass and now they need you back. They need you. They need to distract you from going towards your happiness. Okay? Because you're the only one that has the balls to do so. I feel like there's like a group of people here that got to stand all together. And they were expecting you to stand in with them. But you are like, not the black sheep, but you're different from these people. You're the best. You're simply the best. And they can't, they can't, they don't know what to do with that. They don't know what to do with that energy. All they know is they see there's change happening and they got to cause distractions. Because guess what? Look out. This person's about to be happy. Let's cause whatever distractions we can because we're not getting good karma. We're not getting, we're not getting pure happiness. They probably toast to the good life at night every time they possibly can, not having a damn thing to do the next day. That's their decision. Let them stick doing that. That has nothing to do with you. Now that we have this at the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Wands, they're all burdened. They're all burdened, but these burdens are very much so what they have to deal with. This is part of their karma. It's not yours. So don't try to make their karma your karma. Let me go in and help them and share my happiness. You can't help them with this. This is something they have to do on their own. This is a this is a solo dolo mission. You sat, you sat, you sat by yourself, reflected on what you had to do, okay? And now they're stuck. They're in this energy with the hangman and the chariot in the reverse. Okay, with these burdens, all right? With these burdens, they're stuck doing that. That's the, that's purely on them. That has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with you. This person or people can do the same damn thing you're doing. Self-reflect. Sit their ass down, self-reflect, look at things for what they are, and stop hiding behind this dark shit, whatever the hell it is that they're doing. They feel they're making a change or they're going to cause you some difficulties. They're not. They're not. They're not going to cause you any difficulties. Only you just came out. So somebody's looking at only you. Like they want only you. Somebody wants to get out of all this shit that they done sat here and started because they see only you now. Somebody sees only you as maybe like you're the only person that can get them out of this funk. You can't. You can't get this person out of this. This is what they created for themselves. They did it purely on their own. Exhaustion. Depletion. Drain. Long journey. You're drained from these individuals. You're drained. You have no more to give. You have no more to give. Spirit, what else do we have here for the collective? What else do we have for the collective? Apology. Forgiveness. Return. Sorry. After all this shit, somebody wants to come by and say they're sorry. Because now they know you're the best. Like I said, your strength is bigger than these anxieties. It is. Yes. Mom, you okay, I'll bring it out in a minute. Okay, Confusion. Someone's confused as just to why we have uncertain, unclear, unsure. Somebody's confused as to why you're getting these blessings, why you've dealt with this change, and they haven't been able to touch you. They can't touch you. They can't get they can't be a part of it. Rejection. Abandoned, dismissed, irrational fear. Somebody's terrified of rejection and they should be. Because whatever dark shit they're sitting here playing with, whatever they're trying to get, you know, it's only giving them, it's only making them heartbroken. They want to make it like they're the life of the party, like they got all their shit together. No, they don't. No, they do not. This person, I mean, just think about it. For you to have to rely on bending someone's will to have happiness, for it just to get to just to turn around and smack you in the face like a boomerang, it just comes right back to you. Somebody has to do all this, and now they want... Now, after all the exhaustion, they're exhausted, too. They're not going to tell you that. They want to apologize because of the confusion that they have.
but they better look out because they will be rejected. A lot of you will be rejecting this person because you know they've been causing hell on your life. They've been trying to. And now they're heartbroken from you walking away from all the bullshit. All the bullshit. This could be a group of people. This could be one person. It doesn't matter. Take it as it resonates. But you know who you are now. You done done the self-reflect. And now they're exhausted trying to figure out every which way to get you to fall. And you haven't fallen. You haven't fallen. Spirit, one more, please, for my collective. One more. <clears throat> Two more. Okay. <laughs> Withdrawn. Single, lonely, solitary. Somebody here now is single. Somebody now here is single with... The party probably wasn't jumping, okay? They could probably fake it all they want. They probably have it faking, faking it all over the place, all over social media for you to try to see. But this person is, is feeling lonely. Fantasy. Daydreaming, imagining, fantasize. They fantasize about a life with you. They fantasize about marrying you. They fantasize about being in your strength. Because you're strong. Your anxiety, like I said, your strength is stronger than your anxiety. And they see it. And it's helped you along the way with change here. You have a lot of change. You had a lot of things that you've been doing. Spirit, let's get something on the wedding. Let's get something on wedding here. Somebody's trying to cause a rift in your love life. That's what they're trying to do. With the lovers and the two of cups here, there's a, there's a strong connection. Bluff, pretending, mask, exaggeration. Yeah, somebody's acting like they don't care. Call them bluff. They act like they don't care. They act like they're not afraid. They act like they don't give a damn. They give several. They give several. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have depth, awareness, importance, and value. You're deeper than that. You're not as shallow as this person. You don't look on the outside and be like, hmm, not going to do for me. Your shoes aren't your shoes aren't matching your shirt. Oh, hmm, not going to do for me. Uh, you pretty much don't have the money that I was expecting you to have. I mean, how in the hell do you have a nice-ass car, but you don't have your own place? Somebody here is just shallow as hell. They don't look at what's within. They just they fantasize about different scenarios on how they can get their way with people they fantasize on different scenarios how they can get their way with people but they still end up in shit it's because they put themselves here again like i said they put themselves there okay so if you want me to feel sorry you ain't got my vote because it ain't gonna happen it ain't gonna happen somebody puts themselves in these situations and they want to know why why didn't it go this way for me why didn't it go that way well Whatever these people may have to say, spirit, whether it be family, friends, co-workers, associates, what do they have to say to my dear collective that knows who they are now? That knows who they are now, spirit. What do they have to say? What do they have to say to my dear collective? Or what does my collective need to say to them? Can go either way. Take it as it resonates. Okay, so we have, I don't want, I don't know what you want. Someone doesn't know what you want. They can pretend all they want. You, I trusted you. Yeah, I told you, whatever you, whatever resonates, take it. Take it, whatever resonates. I don't know what comes next. See, someone doesn't know what comes next because they're stuck. They're in that stuck energy. They're in that stuck energy. It's burdensome. I don't know what comes next because I try to do everything I can to sabotage you and it hasn't worked out. I'm stuck. I'm burdened here. What do I do? Can you help me? I want to apologize. I want to come towards you and apologize, but I'm dealing with karma. I'm being judged for all the heavy shit that I've been trying to do. And you also know what? You can look at this as this. Someone's so gung-ho to make sure that you don't get to manifest what you want. Pure happiness. Making sure that they put distractions in your way so you cannot be happy. So that way you can be mad and sad every corner that you make. Every turn that you make. Every change that you make. Oh man, when it's not one thing, it's another. And it puts you down. Don't be down. Don't be down. You are simply the best. You are making it. You're going to get there. That's the thing. Your strength is more powerful than your anxiety. Trust me. The crown is right there. I'm looking right at it. And what that does, the anxiety in hand with strength is going to create a change. It's going to create a change. And then when people see that, here they come distracting. Nobody's looking at anything. One person has a book. One person has a cell phone. And he has a remote. It's all distractions. It's all distractions to not look at the most important things in life. Family. Love. Okay, family. 
things that, you know, a family can sit together at dinner, okay? They can sit together for 10 minutes. They still have a lot going on. They're family. These individuals were messy people. Whoever they are, whoever they are, friends, family, whatever you want to call them, day ones, they just, now they want to apologize, but they don't know how. They don't know how to come in with an apology. Why? Because you're clear. Truth, intentions, and honesty. You have clarity now. You were very, very clear with your intentions with these people, but they weren't clear with theirs with, towards you. Doesn't mean you have to hit them upside the head with something, but you can definitely walk forward and say, I'm going to have my pure happiness. And there's nada you can do about it. I'm going to find my person. And even if it's not you wanting to get married or if it's not you wanting to date somebody, right now you're just working on yourself. You're just working on yourself. The distractions, whatever. Okay, whatever. Let's clarify this bluff card here, spirit. Pretending mask exaggeration. Let's see what this person is doing here. With the wedding spirit. <clears throat> Heart fog. Mixed signals, blocked emotions, messed up. They don't know how to, they don't, they're not going to know how to act when you get somebody in your life. When they finally see it for what it is, when they see you doing something that they've always wanted to do with you, or somebody, some of you, this is somebody you, you're divorced from. They probably want to remarry. They probably want to make things, they're acting like it doesn't matter. They're pretending, wearing that mask. It doesn't matter. They're getting mixed signals, okay? They're messed up. They have blocked emotions. But deep down inside, they want this with you. But the way they're going about it, mm-mm. Not my cup of tea. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. And that's completely up to you, my dear collective. So that's what I have for you this evening. I love you guys so very much. I hope that you take good care of yourselves. Anything you may need to know is that on the description box. If you can't find that, go to the About on my channel, and you will find the information you may need. Sending love and light to you all, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye for now.